welcome to Agenda from Bengaluru. Now we're at the town hall in the city where young students have organized an event to try and encourage women to feel safe once again in the city. Now this of course is pegged on the terrible incidents of molestation of sexual harassment that happened on New Year's Eve. A terrible beginning to the new year for many. Now this event is called I Will Go Out and it's organized by a group called Night in My Shining Armor. Now, what is that name about? Why are we always waiting for the knight in his shining armor to come save a princess or to save the girl in distress? Why don't we go out, reclaim our spaces and enjoy the knight in our shining armor, dress the way we want to, be ourselves? It is, that's the simple ideology behind the name itself. And it's like hashtag I will go out. Yes, I will go out is because we're not scared of the men who try to keep <coughs> us inside. We're not scared of patriarchy which tells us do, wear this, wear that. This is an attempt to say I will go out either for work or for leisure and I can enjoy my public space the way I deem fit. That is I will idea. go out. But the fact of the matter is, it's not always safe. See, that's the problem of our society. It's like even though we are like we're activists or we say like we are for women, we always question, we always ask, why was she wearing that? What was the necessity? That's exactly what the question you're asking. Why is it not safe for us to go out? We should make it safe. We should be allowed to wear what we want. Whether the person was wearing a burqa or a shorts, they're never asking for it. So we should make our city safer instead of saying we should not go out. So that's not the putting whole... the onus on the women. Exactly not putting the onus on the women. Exactly. Now, Professor Radhakrishna, you're from the Congress, the ruling party in the state. Is this a failure of law and order of the government itself? Uh, let me not in this very important issue confine <laughs> myself to only Congress party. Let me not think of any party lines in this issue. Any governance will have to protect the citizens, whether they are children or women or old people, especially the very the business of the government is law and order. The government is formed for law and order, to maintain law and order. It should give voice to the voiceless, protect the voice of the voiceless. Having said so, that I would the, the government must have done as I read in the paper. And let me first compliment these young girls. They are the hope of our country. They are the hope of the humanity. We are talking about humanity, not just man and woman. Having said so, the government, they said that 1,500 or plus people have gathered, the policemen in plain clothes, etc., etc. But every city should have a soul. If there is some problem with the soul of the city, all of us should take the blame on ourselves. Every city has a culture, every city has a soul. What is wrong with our soul? I would not accept uh, that uh, women should be tre treated, looked at, it's a... It's a very, very sickening mindset of sickening, anybody. Absolutely sickening mindset. Raj Lakshmi, he talked about the soul of the city. That's right. Has the soul of Bengaluru been damaged? Is there something wrong with the soul of the city that this is happening? It's not about the city or I don't want to blame it on a particular person or some group of people. I think so. There are some people in this city who have lost their mind or they think they can escape from whatever they do. There are such people who tend to do all these things. Not the entire city who does such things. So Vinny, we don't know who those people are today. They are the culprits who are doing this and for that the entire city is taking the blame of it. We need to educate everybody. We need to have such cost events. That's when everybody will know what's happening and, around. And you've come here actually to support this event. I'm from, yeah, I'm a girl who was born and brought up here and who lives here. I want to live here till the end of my life. And I've come here today to support this great event. Uh, Priya Chetty Rajgopal, a corporate executive, a long time Bengalorean also. Many times the headlines are, what has happened to Bengaluru? Is Bengaluru no longer safe for women? But tell me as somebody who's been here, who's been to college here, was it ever safe to go out? Was there ever a time when a young woman could go out as she wished and not face being poured or ogled at all? Was it safe earlier or has it changed? Maya, compared to other cities, I think Bangalore is possibly safer than most. And one of the things that is a very different way of looking at it is that Bangalore, the fact that so much has been made of this yeah implies an environment which is safe enough for people to come in and voice. Okay, what exactly. They the, the very fact that it's hit the headlines. Yes. 
And I Bengaluru think, shamed, the night of shame, the very fact that it's uh, that's happening. Yes. I think this is a city which has always taken pride <laughs> in stepping up and taking a strong proactive stance in doing something, in making the change. Now, what I think is really important is for us to look at how self-determined women can be. I think we are all tired of the patriarchy. We are all tired of people telling us what to do. Yes, when we were in college, you didn't go to certain places because you were just being safe and it was just too much effort. But today, with night shifts, with work, with college, with the kind of pressures that people have, citizens, I think reclaiming public spaces, having access to do what you want, when you want and how you want, should not be such a big deal. And I think this is a concern that I have. And I also am very, very worried about the, you know, the quick smoke screen that authorities tend to throw around these kind of things. So we will arrest this big person and then we'll make a deal about it. I have had a change.org petition for a while, which just says, look at the three small things. I mean, we are going to get the big things done. Give us a 100 line that works. Okay, an okay. instant helpline. Give us street lights and give us effective and safe transportation. Look at the empowering it gives citizens. The Article 15 in the Constitution talks about giving people equal rights and safety is part, you know, clause three. We are entitled to that. So Bangalore, I think, is almost secondary. It's a narrative that has to change. And isn't it wonderful that all of us can get together and perhaps be the reason the agent for the change that this country so much needs. To be the change we need to see. Because public spaces belong to men and as children public spaces belong to boys. You look at any playground, it's young boys who have taken over and claim the place. Girls are not there on the playground. Do, do, how, how do you respond? Do women have access to public spaces? I kind spaces? of agree with you and it's really sad that public has come to mean uh, men and boys in today's time. The constitution of India doesn't make this distinction. When it says public it means men, women, children, uh, people of any gender, orientation. Uh, but it's really sad how we have come to look at it and this distinction between the political and the social has to break. It's about time that we start questioning it. Because the, o the only people who have the right to come out at night on New Year's Eve and celebrate and look at the lights yes. are the men. Yes. And the women don't normalize right. that the Why men Why are they do there it? at that time? Yes. Why are they asking for trouble? Right. Do, what do you feel about public spaces? Do women have one tenth of the access? Do women have access? I think it has a lot to do with how everyone thinks women shouldn't go out because there's no safety. So the thing is, it's not the law which says you can't go. It's how the society and the system has become. And as a consequence of which, women cannot go out, which is not okay. It's just not okay. It is just not okay. And let that me, is the change we want. Let, let's get here something from the young men as well. Are you, your thoughts on this, the very fact the very fact you're here means it's an issue that matters to you. Yes, do women have safe access to public spaces? Right now it doesn't look like that and that shouldn't be the way it should be, you know. Women should have access to all kinds of places at all times and it does not matter, you know, what they're wearing or anything. Women have equal rights as men and they should be allowed access to all places at all times.